tornado warning that we are watching if you live in southeastern Cheshire County, southwestern Hillsborough County. Again, a tornado warning in effect until 8.15 this evening. Again, it is radar indicated, meaning that we don't have any confirmation of a touchdown near the ground. However, this storm is tracking off to the east at about 45 miles per hour, and it has had a history of rotation back in southern Vermont, weakened a little bit, now has strengthened a little bit more. So again, if you live in southeastern Cheshire and also in southwestern Hillsborough County, you need to seek shelter. Also in the area in Orange, I don't want you to let your guard down just because the tornado warning is in far southern New Hampshire. In the rest of central and western Hillsborough County, northern Cheshire County, Sullivan and points north, severe thunderstorm warnings are in effect for potential for damaging winds. And that alone can do some intense Damage and really result in some destruction if you're not prepared. You need to be in a sturdy structure, preferably in the lowest interior room of your home and also away from windows. So this is what we're tracking right now. This is the intense line of storms moving right through Jaffrey in points east. We'll put a storm track on all of this and also track the northern edge, which is now being marked by some strong straight line winds. Moving to the east, roughly at about 45 to 46 miles per hour. So that brings it in the areas as follows. Francistown, within about another five or six minutes. You have to be now in a sturdy structure, low and inside, again, away from windows, preferably in the lowest interior room, again, of your home. Greenville, right around 8 o'clock. Milford, if this storm does hold together, at 8.11. Manchester, you are not under a warning right now, but keep in mind that as this storm moves through, there is a high likelihood it will maintain its intensity and track all the way to the seacoast. So if you live in the lower part of the Merrimack Valley, be on guard and be prepared as the storm comes on into your area to seek shelter. Whether it's a severe thunderstorm warning or it's a tornado warning, you have to understand that we are talking about damaging winds in either event. So that's why you need to take the same precautions as you would under a severe thunderstorm warning or a tornado warning. Again, the severe thunderstorm warnings to the north being marked by that line moving right through western portions of Merrimack County and another one just to the east of Plymouth in eastern Grafton and extreme western Carroll in a good portion of Belknap County. So we'll go right back to this Doppler radar, show you what's been happening over the last few minutes. And we do have enough rotation here so that this storm has had a history of it back to the west, weakened a little bit, picked up again. And basically it means that it could kind of pulse like that right through the next 60 minutes as it tracks in towards the Merrimack Valley and eventually over towards the coastline. What I want to do is paint on a velocity uh, map. This is basically an indication of how the motion is in this particular storm, and it's a little bit tough to detect right now. We are one radar scope down. The Taunton radar is not in effect. So basically, this is a radar beam all the way from Gray, Maine. The greens indicate motion that's going towards a radar site. And if we had some reds, that would indicate motion away. And there's just some very subtle signs of that right now developing. So these bright greens Again, moving towards a radar site, and this darker green, there may be a little hint of red moving away. And so if you're going to paint where the tornado is, exactly right there, right around the A and Jaffrey, moving to the east at about 45 miles per hour. So again, Jaffrey and surrounding towns seek shelter as this storm comes on through. Again, we've seen this intense line building all afternoon long. A tornado watch does remain in effect for many parts of New Hampshire right through 10 o'clock this evening with the greatest threat coming in here over the next, say, 60 to 90 minutes. So again, if you live in southern parts of Cheshire County, also in western and southern parts of Hillsborough County, be prepared for damaging winds, seek shelter, away from windows, preferably in the lowest interior room of your home. You'll also notice a lot of lightning strikes here as well. So dangerous, deadly lightning being accompanied or accompanied by the storm, along with some damaging winds. Hail, a possibility as well, uh, not only in the tornado warning area, but also around the area approaching Francistown. And within about another, say, 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes, in and around the Queen City, Again, this storm has had a history of producing damaging winds off to our west. Whether it's rotating or straight line, the advisories are up for a potential here of wind gusts of 60 plus 
miles per hour. So that's why you need to be seeking shelter. Again, top floor, no good. Near a window, no good. It's all low and inside. You do notice as the radar is put in motion, that little block of red right around Jaffrey will zoom in even a little bit more, including places near Peterborough and Greenville, right over towards Temple and Ringe. You are all in this tornado warning. And because it's going to continue for about another, say, 20 minutes or so, we will remain on the air until this warning expires. But again, right now, if you live in southeastern Cheshire, southwestern Hillsborough County, you are under a tornado warning. Tom? We are at 7.55, 7.56 now across New Hampshire, and this tornado warning is in effect now until 8.15 tonight. It's in the Jaffrey area, southern Cheshire County, as you can see by the map right there. It is appears, appearing to move at least to the east-southeast somewhat, but it will move and skirt south of the into the Nashua area, south of Manchester. And again, Mike, just to make clarification, a tornado warning, but in fact, there is no sign of an actual tornado actually touching the ground. That's right. It's all been Doppler radar indicated. Uh, again, off to our west, we've seen signs of rotation from eastern New York all the way into southern Vermont. There was actually a warning up just west of the border about 20, 30 minutes ago. They dropped the warning because the rotation weakened a little bit and has churned back up just strong enough so that a warning has been issued. And typically, you look into this thunderstorm cell, you see the rotation, and that's a good indicator that within minutes, it may touch down to the ground. So that's the first kind of um, glimpses into the storm from a National Weather Service perspective. Once the indication is there for strong enough rotation, the warning is issued because within minutes, there's a likelihood that some of that energy will be transported down to the ground with that rotation, resulting in a funnel touching down into a tornado. Again, that's the warning area right now. There's a lot on that map, including quite a few lightning strikes. But you notice the time and the important block there. It's in and around Jaffrey and points east up until about 8.15 this evening. Now we're looking here at the Milford Oval and you can see off to the uh, west in this picture that would be at the top of the screen there is rather dark skies that would be looking over towards the temple area so there is very dark skies coming our way. I guess there could be some good news in the fact that as these storms developed across New York State this afternoon Mike there was no significant reports of any damage. Yeah well you know it's interesting because these storms have been moving at a pretty good clip we don't have all the reports in uh, just yet. I wouldn't be surprised if we, as we go through the next hour or two, to see some of those reports come in. I think there's going to be a little bit of a lag here. Uh, and those storms were just over southern Vermont within the last hour, eastern New York, an hour or two prior. Um, so I'm anticipating that there will have been damage. We just haven't heard of much just yet. Yep, and we're looking now at very dark skies. This is uh, Meredith Point right now, our, near our bureau at Meredith. And we do have some rain shots here that mm -hmm. apparently came in a little while ago out of the Keene area, where there were some very heavy downpours mm -hmm. right there in downtown Keene that was just a few minutes ago. So you can see that these storms are very significant. And, Mike, you need to take these warnings very, very seriously. You certainly do. I mean, you do notice, uh, it was, as we showed the Meredith cam, uh, that the intense line has moved right through there. There's a severe thunderstorm warning until 8.30 in and around the heart of the Lakes region. So if you live in Wolfboro and Alton Bay and Guilford, Laconia, obviously Meredith, you've experienced that, Tuftonboro and uh, Moultonboro, all of those areas experiencing the potential for damaging winds, uh, if you can avoid travel through 9.30 this evening, that would be the best bet. I believe we have the Queen City up there right now, and you'll notice just a little bit of light rain, but there is, north of the tornado warning, there is a severe thunderstorm warning in and around Francistown, and you'll notice it's kind of like a little bit of a bow here, and kind of paint this on right in here, and you notice as that begins to move to the east, that's kind of an indication that there's a rush of air basically driving right towards the center of that bow, possibly as high as 70 plus miles per hour. Um, and because of that, severe thunderstorm warning is in effect even to the north 
of the tornado warning. All right, just to keep you up to date, if you're tuning in now at 8 o'clock at night and looking for programming, we do have a tornado warning in effect across New Hampshire tonight. Specifically, though, the warning now has been issued for southern sections of Cheshire County. There is an alert and a warning in place until 8.15, and therefore we will be staying on the air with you until that time, until that warning expires in order to keep you safe and secure. Tom Griffith here along with Mike Haddad bringing you all the details. Yeah, and, and this is a look at the velocity. Again, the signature is there. There's been a hint of it for basically the last couple of hours. Uh, it's not classic in terms of the color scheme, but it is classic in terms of the hint of some rotation. And basically what we're talking about is motion here that's off to the east, and the darker green here indicating motion away from the radar back to the west. And because of that rotation, it's sitting there just to the south of Peterborough, just to the east of Draft Jaffrey, and moving off to the east right now at a pretty good clip. There's also some signs of, basically we're talking about a couple of rotation, we call them eddies. There's circular motions in the jet stream in the atmosphere here. There's another one down to the south and east of Ringe as well, moving with the motion this way and motion away from the radar and then back towards it, uh, just north of Ashby in Massachusetts. So there's actually been two signs of rotation just within this one little cluster of severe storms. Would you expect at this point that this warning might be advanced to the east as we move past the 815 time period? Well, we do have the severe thunderstorm warning that's in effect until about 815 and I would anticipate that that warning will continue to be expanded farther off to the east. Um, there's no question about that part. The big question is, will the rotation be strong enough for it to continue farther to the east? And as um, you, you know, I would, I would lean on yes with yeah, that. Yeah. And as you look at that system and moving back to the west, it basically the end of it, the back line of it is already across near Vermont, is it not? Uh, go again, Tom. I'm sorry about as, that. As, if you are looking at the back side of where this actually ends, has it, has it entered the state of Vermont, the end of it? Or oh, the it? back edge has, yes. Yeah. The severe threat is right along this line. There it is. Once it clears, you are in the clear in terms of the severe threat. But keep in mind, again, it's very important to note this when we track these things. While the tornado warning is dramatic and it's intense and we will stay on the air until the warning expires... I would say if you live even north, up towards Francistown, just to the east, rather, of Francistown, and even in the Queen City, uh, Goffstown, uh, Dunbarton, be prepared for straight-line winds that could exceed 60 miles per hour. That's why there is a severe thunderstorm watch. The tornado warning strictly means that there's rotation in the cell. It could mean that the winds are 65, 75, 80 miles per hour, and you could have straight line winds north of the tornado coming in at about 70, 75. The end result is about the same uh, in this particular case. So you really need to seek shelter in the tornado warning, the severe thunderstorm warning zone, which includes the area just west of the Queen City. But I would anticipate that the, at least the severe thunderstorm warnings will be extended farther east uh, just within the next, say, 10 minutes or so. Uh, and it may actually go all the way to the coast by about 9.30 or uh, 10 o'clock this evening. Uh, we want to bring in Eric Wiglars, who's been joined, uh, standing by for quite some time uh, over the last several hours, looking at these storms, looking at the rotation. We've been kind of going back and forth with, yeah. there's some rotation there, but is it intense enough to trigger a warning? And, and here we go. Yeah, and it's so tough, too, given how far away we are from the radar. You know, we can only get so deep into the storm, and we're not near the ground where the tornado would be. So, you know, the Weather Service and us collectively, we have to make some decisions based on what we have to work with here. So we'll take you back to the radar, and we'll show you what's going on right now. This is uh, the main line that is just now getting ready to leave the red polygon that is the, the tornado warning. So it is just to the west of Milford. We'll, uh, we'll zoom in here. So the, the line looks a little splinter here. So from Lindborough south to Greenville in particular is where we're seeing what's left of the cell. And, and there are two areas of rotation. The, the main one here is we'll, uh, we'll get the arrow out and we'll, we'll show you what's going on. Uh, it is just to the north of Greenville. This is where whatever is left of the rotation will be sitting. And it's moving pretty quick, too. So this is getting ready to leave the box. So it's it's decision time for the Weather Service whether 
they would like to continue the tornado warning or not. Uh, looks like they've actually just let that expire. So we're left with the severe thunderstorm warning. But as Mike has been mentioning, we've seen this line originally all the way from the New York Vermont border. It's had some rotation. It's weakened and that's intensified again. So, Mike, it could be one of these cases where we could see this weaken for about 20 minutes and then pick back up again in just a short period of time. Yeah, no doubt about it. And we've been talking about it, Eric, back and forth over the last few hours about how there's yeah. been enough of a signature to trigger the warning and then it lets up a little bit and then it kicks in again. What you're noticing is uh, several little bow elements in this entire line that extends all the way from Ossipee down through the area just west of Nashua. And so what we're going to do is considering that this entire line is moving off to the east at roughly about 45 miles per hour, we'll put a storm track on this entire line. No, it's not moving at that 60 mile per hour range, but say about 45 is roughly what we're talking. So Manchester, about another 15 minutes. That's the leading edge. That's where the strongest winds are. Once you get that punch of wind that lasts for about five minutes with this intense line, then you're pretty much in the clear. You're not going to see the winds continuing to pick up for another 10, 20, 30 minutes. This is an intense burst of wind that comes rushing in out of the thunderstorm, straight line or rotating. Alton, about 828. Salem, New Hampshire, at 840. Uh, Milton, in um, the area north of Rochester, about 845. Rochester, shortly after that time frame. And if it holds together... This is how quick a line we're talking about here, folks. 9.03 is when this reaches the coast, and the back edge of the intense winds will probably clear by about 9.15 to 9.30. And then the watch, the tornado watch up for many parts of the state, will likely be allowed to expire, as has the severe thunderstorm or the tornado warning uh, for New Hampshire. I just basically want to click back on our warnings just to make sure that we have not seen any extension of that. Uh, before we sign off here on the air. You do notice, again, severe thunderstorm warnings up for the Lakes region right through the Merrimack Valley. Yes, be prepared. Manchester and points south to Nashua, including spots in between of some intense damaging winds as we will likely see a severe thunderstorm warning extended farther east in the next few minutes, and that will likely carry all the way to the coast. So that seems to be about it on our end. We'll be back, uh, if necessary, throughout uh, the rest of the evening as conditions warn. If a tornado warning is reissued, we'll pop right back in on the air until that point. Whether it's tornadic or severe in terms of the warnings, seek shelter low and inside. Again, lowest interior room of your home and away from windows, and you'll be able to get through the storm just fine. You can get much more on our website as well. We now return you to regular programming already in progress. Almost into Worcester at this point, but that line will continue to push its way to the east now at almost 50 miles per hour. So we're looking at a very extended period all the way down to the south. Now this line is pushing its way towards Springfield, but 
The warnings continue to extend all the way out to the west. As you look at the lightning that's going on out there right now, tremendous amount of it. In the last 30 minutes, we've seen 100, 167 lightning strikes just in the last 30 minutes. So that is always an indicator that shows you just how powerful these storms are. So let me give you tracking. When is it going to get to Boston? I would say around 9 o'clock tonight, we're going to be seeing this line working its way toward the city. As it moves in, we can expect some very gusty winds. Uh, we can expect some downpours. We can expect some lightning and thunder with that one as well. It will continue to march its way to the south. I think once it gets closer to the city, it's going to start to draw in that cool air off of the ocean. And when it does that, that will tend to undercut it just a little bit and knock down some of the severity. But certainly, we could still see the downpours, lightning and thunder into the city. That's 10 o'clock tonight. We head towards midnight or so, it starts to sag farther and farther to the south. And the farther south it goes, the more it will weaken as we head through the overnight hours. And then we'll kind of end that rain as we talk about 4 o'clock in the morning. And, of course, then we'll clear things away as we head towards later on. So, as I mentioned, it's a very powerful line that we're looking at with a lot of thunderstorms with it. And you can see there are the warnings that we're talking about. This one until 8.15 till Springfield. But as you continue to look your way towards Lemonster, Townsend, we're looking at this line, which is moving its way to the east now at about 45 to 50 miles per hour. It's very, very fast moving. And the biggest concern I have really is straight line winds. However, based on what we've seen on radar, we have seen some circulation going on around the ridge area. And because of that, a tornado warning has been issued. This is the area that we're talking about, this little red box that you see here. It goes until 8.15, so approximately another 20 minutes or so. It continues to be this line that is really very impressive that's cutting its way down through Orange, down through Greenfield, and this extends all the way down into parts of New York State. And this line will continue to march its way eastward. Now, everyone is in this tornado watch box. We have uh, added, actually, Essex County to it. We've added some counties down into parts of Connecticut. The only part that is not into this watch box right now is the southeastern part of the state, the Cape and the Islands. But that line will continue to push its way eastward, and you can see just how fast that thing is as it's pushing its way east at about, as I mentioned, about 45 to 50 miles per hour. So we're going to stay with this, continue to monitor that particular cell that we have up there, because it is showing some signs of being very strong at this point, right around the Ringe area, pushing it south of Peterborough. But again, you're heading towards Nashua, and at this pace, it was going very, very quickly. So people in Nashua, you're probably looking off to the west right now. You're seeing the skies getting very dark out there, perhaps some lightning and thunder going on. This is the time you want to kind of look at the idea of, all right, we're going to maybe need to be moving indoors. And certainly if you're in this warning right now, this is when you should be seeking some type of shelter, whether it's an interior room or preferably into the basement. Lowest level of your house is the best place to be. This is a warning. Remember the between a watch and a warning. A watch means we're keeping a general eye on everything. A warning means we've seen something on radar that we don't like, and in this particular case, we're looking at that right around the ridge area, moving its way to the east now at about 45 miles per hour. This line extends from Peterborough down through Orange. By the way, this one in Orange here, I'm really watching that as well. It shows a lot of development to it at this point. Very, very strong one that we're looking at, and we'll continue to watch that one as it moves its way eastward. And again, the warning is right here for the tornado warning, but the severe thunderstorm watch box, or warning, excuse me, the severe thunderstorm warning box is much farther out and ahead of it. It's because we're looking for this line to hold together, certainly for that. That's why you're seeing this area all the way through Manchester, through Nashua that we're looking at, and we'll continue to monitor that one as it moves its way eastward, as I mentioned, at about 45 miles per hour. This line extends all the way down to the south, and of course, we're going to be continuing to watch what's going on with Estelle, and joining me right now is meteorologist A.J. Burnett. And A.J., you're looking at some really interesting things going on with Estelle as well. Yeah, so uh, we've been watching this line of storms uh, progressing through New York, and it's uh, had quite a bit of activity with it, a lot of straight-line winds, a lot of reports of wind damage as well, but let me take you uh, into where the storm is right now. Again, it's it's over southwestern New Hampshire right now, and I'm zooming in on the Ringe, Peterborough, and uh, Jaffrey areas. This is heading toward Temple here, and what I'm going to do is just kind of switch colors on you just briefly here, and we'll talk about where this, uh, uh, where the uh, uh, rotation is here. I'm not able to pull that up right now, but uh, here, let's see if we can get this over. Well, all right. So we're not going to be able to show you that just yet, but this storm is uh, packing a punch with a lot of lightning. And let's put a tracker on this uh, if we can. This is moving at about uh, 50 miles per hour off toward uh, the east. So areas like New Ipswich uh, over toward Hollis and uh, Milford here in the next half hour, really. So uh, around Mason, Milford, and Hollis. There is no report of any ground truth. There's no... Uh, 
actual report of a tornado on the ground with this. This is uh, Doppler radar picking up on rotation with this, but this is a nasty looking cell here. And I want to show you what's going on down to the south here as well, because that's not the only area experiencing severe weather right now. We have uh, severe thunderstorm warnings that extend southward from here all the way across northern Worcester County and into uh, northwestern Middlesex County as well. A lot of lightning here around Orange, uh, moving up toward Winchenden and Royalston as well. Uh, would not shock me to see uh, quite a bit of uh, wind damage from these cells as well. We'll back off and we'll head south and into the uh, Connecticut Valley around Amherst and Huntington. It's important to note that there are warnings with all of these cells for straight line winds and the potential for some hail as well. I also do want to mention that we've been picking up on some very quick and very small rotation embedded within this entire line. So while there are severe thunderstorm warnings out for basically the entire line, it wouldn't surprise me to see one or two of you see a very quick spin up with these storms as they wind on through. So just plan on wind damage uh, from these storms as they continue uh, knifing on through Worcester County here and uh, out toward Western Massachusetts, including the Connecticut Valley as well over the course of the next uh, uh, 30 minutes or so. And these storms will move into the 495 corridor uh, by about uh, an hour's time from now. Uh, Mike Wonkum is back here. He's got uh, new information for us. Mike, what do you have? Yeah, we continue to watch that line. I mean, very impressive. We were very warm and humid inland areas today. Right at the coast, it was cool, but inland, we got close to 80 degrees. So that set the stage for this watch box that you see being issued. But just a few moments ago, the watch box was actually expanded. So originally, Essex County was not part of it. Now, Essex County is part of it. And this tornado watch box goes until 10 o'clock tonight. So this is the very impressive line that we're looking at here through the orange area. But the area that I'm really focused on right now is this area that has just passed through Ringe. It's right on the border right now at this point. So let me put a tracker on that, kind of give you an idea. If this could hold together, it will push its way towards Nashua. We would put it into Nashua at about 820, so just outside the warning box area that we're talking about right now, and then over towards Londonderry by 826. Of course, as it continues to move its way through Hollis at about 815. This line is the one I'm watching. These darker areas that you see right there along the borderline is why the warning was issued. Now, this line extends down to the south, and this is a severe thunderstorm warning that we're talking about. And if you put it into orange right now and put a tracker onto this, again, these are moving very quickly, 45, 50 miles per hour right now. It'll be in Templeton here in about five minutes or so, and then over towards Gardner by about 8.13. We'll get over towards Westminster at 8.19 tonight, and then we'll get over towards Lemonster at about 8.28. And again, it looks like this line will hold together because it has been very impressive. So this is the area that is still under a severe thunderstorm warning. This is the area up here that is in a tornado warning at this point, and this line extends all the way down to the south. So those of you who are out in the western part of the state, You've been seeing this line pushing its way through out toward the Springfield area. It will be there very shortly, and we continue these warnings at least until 8.15 for Springfield and even beyond that. Tremendous amount of lightning with this. Uh, in the last half hour now, we have picked up over 146 lightning strikes just in the last half hour as this line works its way eastward. And this line will push its way towards Boston, I would say, by about 9 o'clock tonight, and then will continue to push its way to the south. It should lose some of its punch as we get closer to 10 o'clock tonight, but again, some heavier rains as we look at the overnight hours. Hours. AJ, you've got some more things to look at inside the store. Yeah, so what I was trying to show you earlier was the uh, the velocity image on this. And what we're looking at here, if we can take uh, Weather 2 here full, uh, just to the north and west of Temple here in uh, New Hampshire, this is what we're talking about right in through here, south of Peterborough. You see how we have those greens over here? And we've got the reds right in here. That's what we're talking about for a, a signature for uh, some... Uh, rotation within this cell. So that's the area that we're watching closely. I'm going to zoom out here and we'll show you uh, kind of a track of where this storm is going. It is moving at about uh, 50 miles per hour. So bear with me while I just gonna go over here and uh, we're going to put this uh, tracker on here. There we go. So the storm is right about in here. We're going to move it off to the east at about 50 miles per hour. So those of you in Wilton, Milford, uh, broad acres and uh, eventually toward the Nashua area here uh, at about 822 or so. You need to take shelter from this storm. This is a nasty storm. While it may not be producing a tornado right now, it may or may not, actually. We don't have any ground truth, per se, uh, no reports of any tornadic activity, uh, but this is a radar-indicated situation here. This storm, regardless of whether or not it's producing a tornado, has the uh, capability of producing some very damaging winds in excess of 60, 70, even 80 miles per hour, as well as some hail as well. And you can see here, as I kind of come out just a little bit, there's a lot of lightning with that cell 
detail as well. You can see that over my shoulder here. There's a lot of lightning uh, just to the south of Ringe. Uh, matter of fact, I think we can probably uh, count the number of, uh, well, no, we can't do that either. Okay, well, at any rate, um, there is a lot of lightning going on with all of these cells, and uh, you can see that the uh, line extends all the way southward out of southwestern New Hampshire into areas like Orange and back toward Amherst and through the Connecticut Valley just north of Springfield as well. This whole line is hauling toward the uh, east at about 50 miles per hour, so it will be moving into the 495 belt here within the next probably uh, 45 minutes or so, and then eventually we'll start to take aim on the Boston area. Now, Mike, you've been talking about how Boston's been kind of cool today with a yeah. sea breeze, and we think that these storms might try to weaken just in time as they move into the, uh, the met uh, metro area. Yeah, it's fascinating to look at the temperatures today. I mean, most of the day today, Boston was about 64 degrees. Again, remember that reading is taken out Logan Airport. The wind switched around to the south at about 7 o'clock, and the temperature shot up in the low 70s. It just shows you the heat and humidity that is feeding these storms that's just inland. So if you were near the coast today, you're saying, well, it doesn't even seem like it's warm and humid enough, but inland it certainly is, and that's why you're seeing these thunderstorms. But what happens is, as this line pushes its way closer and closer to the coast, you'll notice that it starts to draw in some of that cooler air, and that tends to cut them off just a little bit. But right now, it's still a very impressive line. That tornado watch goes until 10 o'clock tonight, but let me focus in on this line, because that's the one we're watching. And of course, we're keeping an eye on it right now, and we're staying with this one because we have been issued a tornado warning. Tornado warnings are pretty rare for us, so we all remember some of the pasts that we've had that are very powerful ones. This one goes until 8.30 tonight. I'm actually more focusing now right kind of along the border more than anything else. So I've put a tracker onto this one just to kind of give you an idea of where it's going as it moves its way off to the east. So we'll put it over the Pepperell area at about 8.17 tonight, if it can hold together that long. These do have a nature of kind of flowing, so that we see some spin-up, and then they kind of lose that spin-up, and they go back to just a very strong straight-line wind that we're dealing with. And again, so far, all of this has been spotted on radar. We have not had any official confirmation of anything going on down. As we look down to the south, this line continues, and you can see how it pushes its way towards Gardner, towards Lemonster. Should be in Gardner by about 8, 11 tonight, and then in the Lemonster area about 8, 26. This is not a tornado warned area. This is a severe thunderstorm warned area that we're talking about. And then we track this line down to the south, and we'll continue to see it pushing its way across the state. And you can see how this goes all the way down. It's a very, very solid line that we're talking about, but it is a relatively narrow line that we're talking about as well. A lot of lightning with this one, as I mentioned. In the last half hour, over 153 lightning strikes. There kind of put some relationship to it between Lemonster and Boston. If you draw that line at 50 miles an hour, you see how fast it's heading in this direction. So what's going to be happening with this? Well, it should be into Boston, I would say, probably within about the next 45 minutes to an hour. And then after that, it will sag its way toward the south. So south shore, you'll start to get your rain coming in between 9 and 10 o'clock tonight. Scattered showers will stay with us probably till about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And then we'll try to clear things away. So my biggest concern from this whole thing really has been the straight line winds. We are seeing some spin-ups going on, but the tornado threat as a rule, is not as bad a danger, I think, as the straight line winds from this whole thing. And then as far as the downpours are concerned, it's a short-lived event, but if you are driving in one of these things, it's one of those things where you get an instant uh, whiteout of rain coming down on your windshield, and you cannot see what's going on. We've not seen many reports of hail. As I mentioned, we have had a couple reports of some tornadoes based on radar, not on any official confirmation to the ground. So tonight, we're going to be seeing temperatures dropping only into the 50s as we look at those thunderstorms that are going to be sitting out there. AJ, you've got some more latest on what's going on. Inside yeah, I just uh, took a peek over in uh, the, one of the uh, weather chat rooms and uh, saw that Orange at the airport rep uh, reported a wind gust of 59 miles per hour as this line comes through. So therein lies the uh, threat, the uh, uh, damaging wind threat is possible uh, anywhere along this line here. And let me show you here, we've got a ton of lightning going on around the uh, town, uh, just to the west of Townsend. You're seeing the lightning off in the distance for sure. This is all cloud to ground lightning, okay? So when you hear thunder, when thunder roars head indoors. This is not the time, not this particular cell to be outside trying to, uh, you know, shoot this on your phone or something. This is some very dangerous and uh, high concentrated lightning that's coming through Ashby right now. We'll zoom in a little tighter here and it looks like around Ashburnham uh, heading toward Townsend and South Brookline in New Hampshire. This is riding right along the Mass New Hampshire border. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can put a timeline on this. These storms are moving at about 45 to 55 miles per hour, so we'll do it at about 50, kind of average things out and take the front of the line here. We'll draw this out uh, over the next uh, 
Okay, let's uh, let's get rid of that here and uh, put this over. You gotta love covering storms on live TV here, right? And watch me draw this line and try and stay inside the lines. I'm trying to teach my uh, near kindergartner to stay in the lines. All right, there you go. You got the tracker here for Fitchburg, Lemonster here, 810. We're coming up on 806 right now. We are at 806.30 right now. So uh, in the next few minutes, Fitchburg, Lemonster, Lowell, Lawrence, and Wilmington all in the path of this storm. And it looks like we just had another severe thunderstorm warning put out here, so let's zoom in on that. Uh, this takes us down into, uh, let's see, West Brookfield and Southbridge, so this is going to be the southern, uh, southwestern corner of uh, Worcester County, it looks like here, uh, for this portion of the line, and you can see this line goes all the way from uh, my goodness, from uh, central New Hampshire, Manchester, almost into Manchester, all the way down uh, into northwestern Middlesex County and down through the Springfield area. So again, you've got a new severe thunderstorm uh, warning that was put out in the Springfield area. And Mike, you're telling me now that the uh, the uh, tornado warning that was up in Cheshire County has been canceled now. Correct, correct. Uh, it, so that's, it, that's good news for uh, folks up that way. Absolutely. And we saw what we saw on radar. We did not have any official confirmation of it, but this was the cell that was giving us the issues there continues to push its way toward the city. We'll continue to monitor it throughout the evening. And if necessary, we'll break back into programming. For right now, we'll return you to regular programming.